The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon from TFNN. Welcome to the October 7th, the magical Monday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easy way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, Not to us. That's right, when you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at us. Now today, you and I, we're gonna go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're gonna go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but much more important than that, during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. Phone lines are open, 877-927-6648. If you can't call in, we've got you covered there, too. Let those fingers do the walking. That means just send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, in our Tiger's Den, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on magical, magnificent Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we've got the Dow off 30 points, trading out at 26,542. S&P's off three at 29,48. NASDAQ 100 off two points. Russell is up two points, uh, trading out at 1502. Uh, the transports are also up uh, 15 points. It's really a flat market, but 10044. The other indices, the New York Stock Exchange, Wilshire, semis are off just slightly out there. Spot volatility index is trading above its 50-day exponential moving average. Print is 1728. Uh, you've got gold off $7.70, silver down seven pennies. Lights we crude up 52 cents. Natural gas down about two cents, leading the charge to the upside. Ring central. It is ringing the bell at $10.50. The upside, 173.80 is the print. That's 6.5%. A restoration hardware up $7 and change, 4%. She's trading out at 177. CrowdStrike Holdings up uh, 5 and change, 8%. Uh, Moody's Corp up 5. Uh, IAC Interactive up 5. To the downside, it's Booking Holdings dollar-wise, 27 bucks and change, a little over 1%. Mercado Libre off 11, nearly 2%. Chipotle down 10 bucks, a little over 1%. Alta Beauty down about 3% or seven bucks and change. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. No requests thus far, so let's go take a look at the uh, general indices, get a feel for what's going on here. Um, so if we take a look at the, what do we start with? Let's start with the uh, ES mini. Let's take a look at a 30-minute time frame chart. What is it communicating to you and I? Well, it's communicating that it wants to pull back. Pull back to where? Chances are it wants to pull back to the bottom of its 30-minute profile. That's 29.36. Now, I know you might say, how can you say that, Steve? That's another 10 points to the downside. Well, the reason is because the way that markets make tops and bottoms, not all tops and bottoms, but one that when you see this pattern, presence, rose momentum indicator pattern out there, I had a top or a bottom, you pay attention. Well, if we take a look at what took place at 12 noon, we had price moving higher, doing less relative energy. Then as we came into the 1230 time frame, we had that bearish engulfing, bearish sash candle form. Now we've got price trading. There was a new profile that formed just so we came on the air. At 1 o'clock, bearish in structure, price is trading below its oscillator and change line, Stevie's green line, as well as the center of its box at 29.48. That makes the call relatively easy. The sellers should have enough pressure to go move price down to support. Again, that level is 29.36 on a 30-minute time frame. That's the ES Mini. Let's go take a Does that mean that the high is in? It's possible, but does not mean that just yet. Price needs to break other key levels of 
of support. If we take a look at a 60 minute time frame, really doing the same thing out here. It formed its bottom on the one hour time frame with the rose moment indicator bottom, that nice hammer candle. And now we've got a, a topping signal on the same 60 minute time frame that rose momentum indicator top here says uh, price should move down to 29.35 to 29.38 doesn't say that support doesn't say that price will stop there should it's a bullish structured profile unlike the 30 minute a box that we looked at. But if we were to see price close below 29.35, what we'd be looking at is 28.96 to the downside out here. That is where price most recently broke out. We've got a caller on the line. Let's go out to Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Oh, I'm doing just fine, Steve. How about you? Doing well also. Do you have a nice weekend? I did. That's kind of the one time I get to spend time with my wife. She's a teacher, so she's oh, okay. pretty busy during the week, and she's in choir, and she has other things that she's doing. So it's just that's kind of our, our time we get to spend together. So perfect, I do perfect. enjoy that. And, and uh, yeah, it was great. How was yours? Uh, it was uh, it was nice. A couple of uh, good rounds of golf. I uh, wish I could put two nines together. That would be nice, but I'll just take whatever <laughs> it is that the golf gods want to give me. But uh, yeah, always, you know, the weekends are great. And what's really nice about it for me is I typically will just turn the machines off, so to speak. And, and this time of year is my favorite, Brent, because I love college football. Uh, I love sports altogether. So it's just ideal with the pennant going on for baseball. You got college football, you've got the NFL football, you got hockey going on. For me, it's just like, it is, it's a wonderful thing. But I know we didn't, you didn't call to talk about sports, but uh, um, I do love uh, Saturdays and uh, Sundays out there. So uh, what can I help you with? I was just calling to comment about, I saw that latest update you sent out around 10 o'clock. Yes. And I just, uh, I like the direction you're going. Absolutely. I think it's going to be a, a, a big benefit. And, okay. I, and I definitely Thank appreciate you. you putting in the extra time and effort to make that happen. I, I guess the one thing I would ask you, do you have a, are you going to kind of focus on the normal stuff that you look at as far as the, oh, like the yes, mini and, and the Dow and, and those, and then like gold and oil, or is, is it going to be an overall kind of? No, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, so nothing will change with regard to the newsletter per se. What I try to get out in the afternoon after the market closes, as well as what goes on in the morning. So all that will remain the same. Uh, so one of the things that I'm asking for subscribers like yourself um, are, hey, here's a direction I'm going in to assist us with identifying more trades, uh, folks. I, I would I would post I would post it on the screen if I could right now what Brent is is talking about. But but uh, that was actually coming off of my laptop where. I'm doing some development at this stage. Um, but it's a, uh, we look at during the show here, during the day, we look at uh, we look at certain patterns that identify tops and bottoms. And to me, that's what it's all about in trying to find those new trades out there. And so those new tools are really intended just to do that. And then it comes down to the information. You know, do you as a subscriber want to see any of that in the newsletter? Is an additional item, or do you just want me to do all the scanning myself when I see those tops and bottoms, just make you aware of those trades? So that was, uh, but the intent was also just simple. So no changes to the normal stuff of being able to understand the message of the markets, um, but also to say, hey, there's a lot of other trades out there that we could be taking. I just need some extra hands on deck, and that's going to be the automated scanner tools out there. Hey, can all you hold right, on through this break? Thank you very much, Steve. Just okay. again, thanks for all your efforts, and, and you have a, a great week. Perfect. You too. Thanks, Brent, for calling. We'll be right back, folks. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, one of the tools that Brent was referring to, see if you can, this is the only way for me to pull it up right now, which is to go back to the uh, newsletter that was sent out. So one of the things that you and I do here each day is we take a look at different instruments. For example, uh, Ruby wants to go take a look at cattle and hogs, and so we're going to do that in a moment. Or we just take a look at the markets. We take a look at, for example, we we're looking at the intraday charts for the ES Mini, and what we we're looking for, are there any topping or bottoming signals that are present out there? And so we we took a look at the road momentum indicator pattern. It helped us to identify what appears to be a short-term top and where price, where sellers should be able to price uh, push price down to. Uh, we also take a look at those TD setup nine count uh, patterns out here. And so I've been redeveloping uh, all of my tools to work on a different version or a newer version of the white backgrounded charts. Those are the Ninja Trader charts out there. Unfortunately, all the tools that I had developed on their older platform uh, don't port over to the newer platform and I finally have decided to bite the bullet spend the money time energy there's there's also some other benefits and we'll see if I can maximize those benefits out here but one of them is simply to be able to uh, scan how many ever charts instruments uh, not charts but instruments uh, to pick up on those topping or bottoming signals. Or I can just simply take a list of instruments. For example, here is a majority, not each of the uh, components inside the GDX right now. And so this way in one uh, swoop, I can take a look at each of those instruments, understand what their daily uh, TD setup count is, their daily, their weekly, their monthly, as well as where support and resistance are. Um, I'm not gonna take every single trade out there, but many of you are looking for additional trades out there. And when you like to buy something that has a bottoming pattern, and this is one of those bottoming patterns, the Rose Momentum Indicator tools are already present in the uh, daily and the evening edition of the uh, newsletter so that subscribers can you know, track their own investments, make their own new investments based upon those topping and bottoming signals out there. And uh, and then I've also, so that would be taken a look at as an example uh, for the my mar market analyzer for the TD setup uh, pattern out here. And this is just taking a look at the GDX 
next. Here's another example of, uh, and this is really where maybe the uh, the rubber meets the road in looking for those new trades. Here is a scan of the Dow 30 stocks and the NDX 100 stocks just to begin with. And, and here what I'm looking for, just the uh, daily counts at this stage, just the daily counts that are showing either a topping or a bottoming signal. That would be counts eight or nine. Remember, we always look for bars eight or nine uh, inside that pattern or the bar following nine to assist us with whether or not it's um, based upon the pattern rules, whether it's a valid top or it's a valid bottom out there. And this way, here I've scanned 130 stocks. It took me literally seconds, once I had everything built, to then be able to sift out, only look at those that have uh, are in bar eight or nine out here, making it a whole lot easier. Then also I've got the weekly or the monthly counts out here, uh, so we can understand where they are at, as well as where the uh, support and resistance is. And you can see where the last price was at when this was, was put forth and so what's nice about this is here you've got four different stocks well, we have four different stocks to go take a look at so as an example um, here is the uh, here is oh that's interesting to, oh here here's here's the one it's FOXA um, Fox I, I I believe so that showed up and here you can see a nice valid count uh, nice valid TD setup count bar number eight made the low and I, I realize that the print is a little bit small on this and eventually I have I've got a new computer a supercomputer for the most part that is being built and on its way that will, should allow me to run everything as you know sometimes we've my system has gotten clogged up so to speak, even though I keep it nice and fresh and clean. But it's gotten clogged up uh, when we've gotten some kind of tweet that just simply sends the markets uh, into gyration or some type of report uh, that takes place out there. It doesn't have to be a tweet uh, necessarily. Uh, and uh, and so if I'm running all this stuff on, uh, on my computer system, I just need something of more power to be able to do all those scans as well as pick up what's going on here. But here we know for ticker symbol FOXA, if you were going to ask me about this, we'd say a valid bottom and price going to move up to 32 45. And that makes it very easy for you to consider taking a trade on this. I'm not telling you to take a trade. I'm just saying if you're a person that wants to be able to buy tops or sell tops and buy bottoms, well, this is one of those tools. And then the newsletter is one of those places where you can get that information. Here, if we take a look at this symbol, this is Monster Energy MNST. It's got what looks like it may be a valid TD setup nine count, but we wouldn't take that trade, not based upon that pattern, because it doesn't follow our criteria out there. And this is an additional thing that I'm going to enhance that scan with so that I don't even have to take a look at um, this uh, MNST just simply because it doesn't meet my criteria. Uh, here is a Starbucks. So if you're, this is a really a great setup with regard to Starbucks out here because this has got the uh, TD setup nine count. The nine count occurs before support. That'd be that red horizontal line of 83.32. If you're, uh, if you're an individual who's been trying to add Starbucks to your portfolio, well, then what I can tell you is now's the time. You've got a valid count. You know, use proper position sizing. Your target is going to be resistance, which is 91.77. I've just made this clean out here. We also use, you and I, use our TAS market profiles for support and resistance. And I can add that. But this is, a, this is just simply with regard to this pattern, where price should be able to push itself, having a valid count. And this is really nice looking uh, trade there on Starbucks. Uh, the fourth one uh, that showed up there, you've got CVX. In the case of CVX, CVX, it definitely made a TD setup nine count bottom, does it on bar number eight. What I don't know now is old support, which was 114.55, never held the support because the only time it tested price cut right through that, but still is an old support level, or what should have been a support level is at now resistance. That's 114.55. I don't know the answer to that, no more than anybody else does. But a close above 114.55, we'd say, nah, it doesn't matter. Valid count out here, and price should target uh, its breakdown level, and that'd be up at the 124.72. So this actually looks like also another nice uh, setup to the uh, long side. Uh, lastly, it's not the last tool, but I'm also automated. We also look for wave number G. The market sings in the key of G when those patterns are present. We uh, pay attention to it. We go look for it. But how are you going to be able to scan all Dow 30, all NDX 100, all S&P 500, all of the Russell 2000, if you'd like, as well as all the miscellaneous other stocks, let alone the futures contracts, which we take a look at 30, 60, 120, 300-minute charts out there, and be able to do all that stuff just to narrow it down to which 
which ones are in uh, proper TD setup. Uh, accounts to look at roads when we went to indicator tops or wave number seven. So I've been automating that tool. This is just an example uh, of that process. Um, and so in any event, that is what uh, Brent was referring to, always looking to be able to enhance the level of experience if you are a subscriber to Mastering Probability. Now, let's go get back to uh, the uh, show out here. Not that that wasn't a part of it, but let's go take a look at Live Hogs for uh, Ruby. So, Ruby, I've got uh, – is is the uh, November contract, is that it for, uh, for Lean Hogs out here? Um, I think that it is, but if it isn't, let me know. We can change that. But here, if we take a look at the November contract for – the only reason why I say maybe it's not is I don't see much in the way of volume uh, down there. But if we do take a look at the November contracts, December, okay, thank you. So let's go change that here real quickly. Let's do this. Uh, that way we give uh, Ruby the uh, the information she's looking for. And the first thing we're going to take a look at is where is price trading in relationship to its TAS market profiles. And right now, um, if you're long hogs, what you don't like seeing is today's action because a key level of support has been broken through. And that's 66.31. We'll be right back. We'll finish up lean hogs. Go take a look at uh, cattle and anything else that you'd like. Steve Rhodes at TFNN. Steve at TFNN.com. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back. 
back, uh, folks. So we were uh, taking a uh, look at uh, lean hogs, the December contract for lean hogs, and we had initially just focused on the daily time frame. That's the right-hand panel chart out here. And so what we said to uh, Ruby was, hey, not a good thing for support to be broken. I don't have the December contract and my other tools out here to pull it up to see if there's anything else of significance, Ruby, that we should look at. But as we look at multiple time frames, a 30-minute, which is the left-hand panel, then the two-hour, uh, 120-minute, then the five-hour, Hour time frame, we we'll see that all of the bars are currently red, such as the daily, telling us that price is below all levels of profiles out there that we're looking at, the four levels right now. And so, therefore, this is uh, not suggestive of any kind of a bottom, uh, but instead that price wants to continue to move lower. So that's what I see when I take a look at the December Lean Hog Futures contract. As far as live cattle, it looks to me like this is also December maybe confirm that uh, for me out here. And as we take a look at live cattle, uh, this is a much more bullish looking chart, much more bullish because, well, price is up at the top of its daily profile, and that top is 110.75. Now, price is sitting just slightly above it, and I do mean just slightly above it, but nonetheless, above is above. And if price can close above the top of that uh, profile, uh, says it should move to higher ground. Now, higher ground to where, at this stage, the only tool that I would have to give you a price projection uh, would be an A to B equals CD pattern. And it would look something like this. Um, it's a it's not a very large retracement. Um, I like to typically see a, around a 0.382 retracement. This is uh, 23.6, which actually is a Fibonacci number. Um, but, but in any event out here, this looks like uh, you've got an A to B equals CD that is going on out here and that uh, price wants to move to higher ground. No bearish reversal candles or anything like that. So that's what I see when I take a look at the December live cattle futures contract. So I hope that that uh, helps you out there. Um, we take a look at Let's see. Let me just see if there's any other request, any other questions out here, and um, so just some more comments from some subscribers about the uh, new tools out there. So, and I appreciate all the comments. Uh, that's why I sent that list out to subscribers. I'd really like to get their their feedback, their comments, because I don't want to include stuff in a newsletter that's not uh, going to assist anybody. Just doesn't make any sense out there. Uh, in any event, so let's go take a look at uh, Tucker wants to take a look at an update on natural gas. If we have the time, of course we have the time. If you ask, we've got the time. This show is yours. Just so you know, this hour, I mean, unless there's something just crazy going on inside the marketplace that we have to go spend time on, it, you know, this this is your show. This is this is this is all for you. Um, so you know, the way you benefit me is by giving me all these different instruments to go take a look at, uh, simply because that's how that's how we we we. You and I, the team, this is how we uh, see these patterns work and be able to generate some confidence uh, in them. So uh, let's see, we're going from, uh, what was the what was your request? Oh, natural gas. I'll eventually get there. So let's go take a look at the natural gas contract out here. And um, as we take a look at the November natural gas contract, uh, let's begin by taking a look at the daily chart as soon as it populates. So here's what we know. We know that a couple of days ago, specifically on October 3rd, there was a brand new bullish structured profile that formed out here. And so support is at $2.24 and resistance at 2.57. Now price is sitting right at the center of its box. That's the price, that's the price point where both buyers and sellers uh, believe there's fair value. Now it's bullish in structure. So what that means is that if buyers can overcome sellers, and right now we don't have that uh, Tucker as a uh, was a Tucker yeah that asked about it um, because price is sitting right there. But if it, it looked like on Friday's close, based upon Friday's close, which was slightly above that center line, that that was signaling to you and I that price should still be able to push buyers should be able to push price up to the top of the profile 257. Price is sitting right at it right now. So we don't really change that view, but it's been more um, neutralized, so to speak. Um, so th that's really my, my update is, you know, price is sitting right there where the buyers and sellers believe there's a uh, fair uh Fair, uh, 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 fair value. If you're long, you know, you've got 224 as your level of support. You need to see it close below that to change that uh, viewpoint out here. And other than that, I really don't have a lot, Tuck. Uh, if we take a look at the 30 minute time frame out here, you're just going to see a consolidation, a consolidation between support and 
resistance. The resistance is held really well. That's at two dollars and thirty-three cents out here, or two thirty-five, either one. And support is two dollars and thirty-one cents, which was breached, but we never saw a second closing below that area. Not until a couple of hours ago. The exact time we saw a closing below that was at eleven. But then price failed. Uh, when I say failed, failed to push lower, and so we're just inside this little range out here, Tuck. So I don't know which way this is going to go. Do you? Or anybody um, at this stage here, uh, it's sitting on fair value, and I don't have any more inf any more information. That sounds like really horrible grammar out there. I'll just have to apologize for it, but uh, it is what it is. So uh, so anyway, so there we go for natural gas. Hope that helps you out. Um, what do we got here? Somebody, I don't know, I'm sure what's the, what's the, the discussion of the Tigers in about the news. Okay, the market may be moving higher. Okay, so let's go back to the market. And uh, so, okay, in, in the market moving higher, we took a look at the 30-minute chart. 30-minute chart said, okay, we've got a valid topping signal. Now we're pushing higher again. Uh, as we push higher again, we're still doing it with less relative energy out here. Um, so it's just a word of caution at this stage. Um, and so that had, that viewpoint hasn't changed. Uh, now, if we see a close above, a close above in this 30 minutes, so that's 2 p.m. I'll be off the air by then. But a close above 29.55, we're 29.56 right now. A close above 29.55 would say, okay, the first level of resistance has failed. That was that bearish engulfing candle. But that doesn't mean that another short-term top can't form. Because because price is still moving higher with less relative energy out there. So I'm not going to get too caught up into whatever the reaction in the market was. I'm not saying that the market is bearish. So I just want to make but we were looking at the short term time frame charts to say, okay, caution. Because when I say if I look at a longer term time frame, now longer, I mean, I'm going to go from, I'm going to multiply it times 10. I'm going to go from 30 to 300. And so if we take a look at the five hour time frame chart out here, this did have a TD setup nine count pattern. That was at uh, Friday's uh, close out here. And, uh, but what now what we can see is price has taken out that high. So the bigger picture, right? You've got, hey, what's going on in the short term? Kind of um, uh, a lot of noise on a short term chart. Now we, we spread it out a bit to a larger term time frame. And uh, what this is communicating to you and I is that the ES Mini wants to travel up to 29.94. That is its resistance level because we've got a topping pattern here in the larger scale that has uh, failed to generate any significant selling to the downside. Price has now taken out that uh, pattern high. And so price should move up to the next resistance area. It's above the uh, profile for the five hour time frame. Frame. Now, this bar here that we're in doesn't close till 2 p.m. And so it's important to see what the close on this bar is in 22 minutes, 21 and a half minutes out there. But at this stage, it looks like 29.94 on the larger picture for the ES Mini. And folks inside the NQ, she appears or he appears to be headed for 78.41. You're at 77.91 right now. That's the five hour message. We'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get the competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, Jim wants to take a look at uh, Suncor Energy, Inc. The ticker symbol there is SU. And Jim says, I'm not a short-term trader, more of a long-term hold. So the first thing that you and I like to do is just understand where's price trading in, relation to, in relationship to support and resistance. For support and resistance, you and I, we primarily, during this hour, we primarily use our TAS market profile. So that's one area to identify support and resistance. And the other would be the TD setup of breakdown and break out levels out there. And the numbers are going to be different, um, but we want to understand where support is. We understand the range of support or the range of resistance. So we take a look at this chart here. We know price is trading at the point of control on the daily time frame. It's a bearish structured box out there. So if price can close above uh, 3009, uh, not 30.10, you know, I don't know, uh, 31, or not 31, uh, I, I don't know, 30 and 20 cents. Uh, then price ought to be able to make its way up to 30.93. A brand new weekly profile has formed out here, Jim. Uh, price is trading right now into the top of that profile. So 30.10 is the number. So on a weekly close above 30.10, that would be bullish. And price is trading in between the uh, monthly profile. Now, Jim mentioned that he's not a short-term trader. And so it's really noise for you and I to take a look at the daily time frame. We will, but I would prefer to start at the longer-term time frame. So we know what, as we take a look at this chart, we take a look at profile levels out here. We know prices trading in between them we can see in the case of suncor we can we can see both higher uh, higher lows recently when i say recently well really higher lows coming back to uh november of 2008 but we can also see lower highs coming back into march of 2011 so we got the cone of silence that is uh, uh in play here if we take a look at the monthly time frame chart this is stevie's other tools out here uh the oscillator and change line that red green line uh, by now if you're a long-term listener you know when that uh, line changes colors on the monthly basis it did this back in July, August of this year, you know that uh, we should eventually see a test of that line in price. And it's the test, that test that tells us what the intent of the market is. 
That's really what we want to understand. What is the market's intent? What is the message of the markets? And what we saw take place in the month of September was a test and rejection of that level. So on a longer term basis, Jim, there's no other bottoming pattern or signals that I have out here. The message here from a longer term standpoint is still bearish. That was the test that took place in the month of September. Now, maybe that's too long term for you. I don't know if that's the case or not. If I look at the weekly time frame chart, I don't really have a great signal out here one way or the other so there's nothing here to provide you and I with more information um, other than we know where price is traveling with regard to its uh, weekly box which is a brand new box that just formed the daily time frame uh, which may be noise to Jim may not be noise to you what this did was this generated a TD setup nine count bottom it did this on October 4th the low was uh, the bar following bar nine that qualifies for what I like to say is a valid bottoming signal out here it did it with a hammer candle it is nice to form a top or bottom with a bullish or bearish reversal candle for the TD nine count it's not a requirement um, it's not a requirement, period, end of story. But when it does happen, it at least communicates to you that not only was or is this uh, uh, symbol, SU, uh, forming a, a valid bottoming pattern, it did it with a bullish hammer candle out there. And so the nice thing about this is you know if you were in a trade, took a trade on this, that your stop would be a close below the bottom of that hammer candle, which uh, is the price point of 29.54. Now, when I say your stop would be below that, you would, you, because the, the close below the low of a hammer candle says if you're long, you're wrong. Just our fun little expression out there. In this case here, this would tell us that price would likely pull back to its breakout area of 28.14. Now, the bullish side of this, Jim, is that you have a valid TD setup nine count that occurred well above support. Support here being that breakout support level. So you should see uh, this uh, instrument make its way up to Stevie's green line, which is 3093 right now, into that uh, range. And at 3093, just so happens to be the top of the daily profile out there. So there should at least be a counter trend rally up to that area. What it does to that area, I don't know. Um, but uh, that's what I would be looking for in the case of Suncor. You say you're a longer term trader. I think you've just got to be patient based upon what we looked at for the monthly time frame. Hope that that helps you out with your decision making. OK, no other request in just yet uh, other than inside the Tiger's Den, which is just a, as valid a request. And that was from who was it? Peter. Somebody wanted to take a look at just trying to find out where, where, where was, what's the request for? Was it for gold? Um boy oh boy oh boy. Um okay. Well, yeah, the gold contract. Okay, thanks. Thanks for helping me out. I guess I could have just figured it out on my own. If we take a look at the gold contract, one one of the things Peter likes to look at, smart guy for wanting to look at it is, you know, what's what's gold doing in all the major currencies out there? So if we take a look at that. We're going to see gold priced in dollars, gold priced in euros, gold priced in yen, and gold priced in pounds, each moving lower on the day. So what this tells us is we've got some sellers out here. Uh, gold, by the way, has support at the bottom of its profile. That's 1472 now. Uh, that's using my my synthetic version of the contract. I'd have to look at December, see if that's also got 1472. But right now, Peter, that's what you and I are going to go with out here. So it's moving lower in all currencies, which suggests that it's going to continue moving lower to support. Support, 1472. If we go take a look at Stevie's other chart, white background chart out here, uh, this tells us that, yeah, it's got 1472 as support. Uh, we see that Stevie's oscillator and change line, Stevie's green line, has held as resistance. Been tested three days in a row out here. So this, too, says to anticipate lower price. So I'd be moving down to that 1472. Now, uh, one of my other tools that uh, you occasionally see, subscribers see it, because each morning we try to understand what what's the message of the markets? What just happened overnight? Are there bottoming signals, topping signals? What's going on for various instruments? We take a look at that, for example, let's say this 30-minute time frame. Now, here are the Rhodes Momentum Indicator signals, different than the TD setup, 9 counts or the wave counts out here. But here, if we take a look at gold, what I'd be looking for in the case of gold is, is there any kind of bottoming signal? Well, lo and behold, on a 30-minute time frame, just so we can understand the noise, it says bottom signal. And what I know, because it's green, it says that uh, this should have occurred here during the last 
uh, last hour, last half hour or so. So let's go see if we can. Let's pull up the 30-minute chart for Goldilocks. Let's go see what it says. Where do we have that? Well, here's a eh, – let's do it here. Let's come over here. Let's just change this to the gold contract for its 30-minute time frame. And uh, voila, what we can see is price is pushing lower, doing less relative energy, and it's doing it on that bar. And that's a beautiful thing. That does not mean buy. I want to restate that again. That does not mean buy. Okay, I've said that. Price is just pushing lower, doing with less relative energy. Not until the cavalry arrives with this pattern here would you consider taking the trade. Unless you've got some advanced information or you're really at a level of support, which we just took a look at in the daily time frame. We didn't see a level of support there, nor do I see any kind of TD setup support. Well, 1490 would be a uh, level out here. But at this stage, you'd be observing the way that gold trades for the next many hours out here to look for some type of bullish reversal signal for a counter trend. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of living a primal lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN.
Welcome back, uh, folks. So we've got the Dow up 70, S&P's up 6, uh, all the indices in the uh, green. So what are we going to be watching today to give you an indication as we come into the close what the uh, markets are communicating to you? If we go back to those roads momentum indicator signals out here, one of the key target areas that the equity futures contracts are shooting for uh, are its uh, Stevie's green line level out here. That's that daily OUL oscillator and change line. So what we can see here, because there's a number present on the NQ in the support column, 77.57, tells us that price is above support. Now, you can just take a look at the last price to see that. But so the NQ has already gotten above a level of resistance. The ES, the Dow, and the uh, have not. Let me just see here. I think things are out of whack. Let me try to, I don't know how they got out of whack. They did get out of whack. See if I can put them back into whack out here. And where is the Russell 2000? There we go. So just take a look at the top four. So here where we can see the resistance level. So where the ES Mini is gunning for is 2960. The Dow 26,679. The Russell 2000, 1518. Any closes above those levels will tell you that the odds of this only being a counter trend move just got diminished. Just got diminished. That's if that occurs out there. So what we have is right now we've got one of the equity futures contracts that gave us that signal on uh, Friday here if we take a look at it because it was just a slight close above that level we can see that price is still above that area right now counter trend rallies would stop at resistance hasn't done that now remember we also use those TAS market profiles as resistance right so if we take a look at where's the TAS market profile for resistance for the NQ it's 78.44 so if you're asking me if prices move higher where's the NQ gunning for it's 78.44. Now, that spot VIX index right now still trading above its 50-day exponential moving average. It's currently priced at 16.60. That's the 50-day. The spot is trading at 16.86. If you see a close below 16.60, folks, it's really suggesting you don't be short or certainly tighten your stops. Hey, thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned. Another great hour, two hours coming up next. David White and Tom O'Brien. And I'll look forward. To, oh, I won't be here tomorrow. My apology, but I will not be here tomorrow. I'm trying to be here for Wednesday. Hey, have a great Monday, folks.